This year's Springfieldian is that rare combination of a visionary leader who also is willing to work hard down in the trenches to make that vision a reality. I think that that was instilled in him, that he is a person who has an obligation to his community. Whatever he has, he enjoys, but he turns around and he feels compelled to give back. And he just, he also doesn't see limits. He doesn't see limits. He sees something that needs to be done and he's going to figure out a way to do it. I think that's his personality. I think it's, it's something that some people have and some people don't, and he certainly does have it. It's a giving spirit. He wants everyone to have the same opportunities he's had, and you know, part of that is to have a good, healthy life. He has that. He has a heart for for people who lack things. He just sort of, you know, took took responsibility for running the kitchen clinic, which served the medical needs and the pharmaceutical needs of the people who needed the kitchen services. He persisted in that struggle to get the community health center here in Springfield. I think they applied three times before they finally got the grant to establish it. And look what it's become. John was our first medical provider. And the uh, first provider contract I issued when I came to Springfield was with John Bentley. And I think what he means to it, what he brings to the organization, um, any, any new company needs a strong foundation. And I think John set the precedence for what Jordan Valley was to become today. Um, a program of caring providers, a great deal of integrity and professionalism, and a willingness to take care of that population. Early on, I, I uh, recognized his commitment to the underserved and the people that didn't have good access to care. And, and that's been such an important uh, lesson to me. He's cared for thousands upon thousands of people and made their lives better. I've seen it from the big picture, but I've also seen it in a very personal way. Um, when my sister came to this community several years ago, um, she was in a situation where she needed health care quickly and quite frankly, I feel like the professionals at Jordan Valley Healthcare saved her life. To give good care, you have to care. He really cares about his patients. He's, he's just great, an all-around great person. He never sees like any bad in anyone, so he always sees the good, no matter no matter what the outcome is. So he really treats each and every one of them, you know, with you know respect. He's, his bedside manners are just great. You see names on walls, and and that means something. But uh, I think you could talk to his numerous, I don't know how many patients, maybe two or three thousand patients, people he's interacted with and, and, and be very, uh, get a real appreciation of the kind of legacy he's left. He cares. He cares for everyone. He's Springfield's doctor. He was there when I needed him in the worst kind of way at four o'clock in the morning. He was there. He helped. And for that, I'm eternally grateful to him. I think maybe he's one of those people who is happiest when he's doing for others. You know, it's ingrained in him that uh, we're all supposed to help. He's the most dedicated and driven person, but he is so graceful. He makes it look like it's just simple. Work ethic is so big with him. He never misses a day. So like in the mornings when you wake up and you think, oh, I really don't want to go to work, you think, oh my goodness, he's going to be there. You have to get out of bed. I don't think he'll ever stop. He's going to continue to give of himself, his time, and his skills to continue to make people uh, healthy, better, and uh, uh, I think he's most proud he'll be is just that of his, his wife and his family.